Good morning, Angie. Good morning. I could sleep. How did you, how did you sleep <laughs> last night? I slept fine. The bed was more uncomfortable, but I was tired. So I slept. I went to bed pretty quickly. Good morning, Christian. Good morning, Good morning Emily. How's the 2 a.m. table doing? I feel like a million dollars. Good morning, Jasmine. Good morning. How are we getting to our hotel this morning? We're walking. If it's, if it's not close. I have, I have good news for you. That's, That's it. That's it? Wow. That crazy thing. We made it. After getting off the boat, we met our brilliant polyglot tour guide, Emil. What's the good news? The good news is that the hotel looks beautiful. Uh, See? And we get to check into our rooms, baby. Double Ain't no cabin company. <laughs> There's a spa. A sauna? A sauna and a gym. After checking in, it was time for a great afternoon nap before I went out to explore. After a pretty restful late morning and early afternoon, I came down here to uh, the harbor, which is right by where we're staying. And uh, there's actually a great food market over here. So I'm gonna be getting a bite to eat. Ended up getting, obviously, a reindeer hot dog, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, took it up here, so there's the market down there. I'm currently on the roof of the Alice Sea Pool, probably where I'm going to be training while I'm here. Absolutely gorgeous day. Maybe too gorgeous, maybe too warm. But yeah, beautiful, really tasty, and a great view. Since it was Sunday, our group decided to visit a local church for a beautiful service and finish. We're headed to a church service. I believe it's a Lutheran church, but I'm very excited. Inside, we were warmly welcomed with an amazing worship service.
Anthony, thoughts, reactions to our church service that we, we just attended? Uh, that was, it was really beautiful. The congregation was extremely welcoming. It was fantastic to go and worship with them, take communion. The worship was absolutely beautiful. Uh, the word Mrs. Iglesias used to describe it was heavenly, and I really yeah. agree with that. The worshiping was super, um, super good. The lead singer's voices were like absolutely beautiful. Um, they were so sweet afterwards, like we kind of talked to them a little bit. Um, it was just really, really cool and lovely. Even though I didn't know what they were saying, it was very, it was very enjoyable. For dinner at Manala, which translates to the underworld, we got to try more reindeer, this time on pizza. I just tried reindeer for the first time. It was reindeer pizza, and it was basically the exact same sausage. Good morning, Philip. Good morning. What are we doing this morning? We're about to swim in Helsinki. After an easy 1500 meter swim at the Ala Sea Pool, Philip and I decided to try the nearby saunas. We then took a brisk dip in the Baltic before meeting up with the group for that day's site visits. We are on a walking tour for two hours and uh, we're visiting Nokia in the afternoon. Yeah, I'm so excited. A beautiful day. Right now we are sitting in front of the biggest Orthodox church in Europe and to quote Felipe, our tour guide, he said taking Russia off the map. It's pretty old and from their times in the Russian Empire. And it was built in 1868, just eight years after Wheaton College was established. <laughs> so that's a fun fact for you. Who is this statue of? Uh, a Russian dude. Russian. He was pretty good. Pretty good defense Overall, pretty based. The only remaining public the statue of a Russian czar. I don't know if there's much of a conspiracy theory so much as that this is just an Islamic church parading around as a Christian. But I don't know. That's not really a conspiracy, it's just true. Why the heck are there gold stars up there? They're not going to be like in any way tied to anything. Why isn't it just like one big star that's like, you know, leading the, leading the wise men to Jesus? It's a bunch of gold stars that look eerily similar to the stars you find on the flag of Islam, you can also right? See star the in the moon, and it's also green. Why is there a gold star set on a green background? So you get an idea how high we are. They knew that it would turn green. They know what happens. After seeing the beautiful Helsinki Cathedral, we then toured the Central Library. This is like the new library, and they've got a studio, they've got gaming set up, so we're about to go crazy here. They got three printers. You just want to pan over there. Um, yeah. Welcome to the National Library. Um, right now we are at the Modern Library in Helsinki, and so in addition to books, up on the third floor they have a lot of really interesting amenities that you usually wouldn't see in the U.S. And so our tour guide just showed us um, how instead of like people physically returning the books, they actually have robots that they charge overnight and then the robots will come and return the books for you. So it's very interesting. And picks up the baskets and drives it away Whoa. to the third floor. And so, so this over here, with the pillars, is the Finnish parliament, and um, it actually has saunas in it, which is pretty unique for a parliament building, but we're in Finland, so... Sauna culture is so important in Finland that, of course, everyone that works in the parliament needs access to one. So there's a huge sauna in the parliament building. They have the, like, most saunas per capita in the, in the world, so...
I but think this is the Church of the Rock. Sex. We're going to a Church of the Rock. So Hypothetically, this should be it. But, yeah. Looking like a good sign. I see rock and I see church dome, so... Temple Iaukyo, also known as Church of the Rock, was built straight into solid rock in the middle of Helsinki. It's known not only for its unique architecture, but also its fantastic acoustics. After leaving Church of the Rock, we traveled through the Helsinki Central Station on our way to Nokia. We're at lunch in, where are we? Mall <laughs> slash bus station thing, I think. Uh, we had 15 minutes to get lunch. We were and eat it. And five, eat it. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. <laughs> Great. Pretty good though. It feels like I'm back in Hong Kong right now. It's what we do normally, walking while eating. So it gives me home vibes. Oh, oh. Uh, we're going to Nokia headquarters. We're just gonna be a, it's gonna be a little bit of a trek. We first have to get Chan to get transportation pass. And a coffin will be holding on to such a said pass. And we'll probably give Chandy a hard time about for the rest of the trip about losing his transportation passes. Uh, we were at Nokia, um, and it was pleasant. Um, very, very good uh, high-tech atmosphere. I think a lot of us were quite sleepy. Um, they had interesting things to say, kind of not super direct sometimes. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was it was enjoyable. And then we took the train back and um, played some hangman. Yeah, the hangman actually started during the meeting uh, uh, yes. with me and Yurus. <laughs> that was both of us needed to stay awake. Yeah. And we were listening, but also playing hangman. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I had questions, so I think that yeah. was pretty good. Cool. Viking La Herald, recommended by Felipe 
preserved by me. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all we know. Yeah. Let's see how the food is. We're excited. Look at these cool mugs. It was dinner. I have mushroom soup. Yeah, we just met yeah. the Boston family from Ukraine. They're just asking us if um, the mall had closed because it's supposed to close at nine, but it closed at eight. And then we just talked to them, and they were really sweet and positive. And then we complimented her English, and she was like, "Oh my gosh, thanks." After we all got dime McFlurries, Philip, Enoch, and I toured a bit more of the city during sunset. We are back at where we were this morning. So behind you, you can see the library. There's a playground, and it's a music center and a part of it. 